Welcome to Win Souls TV. This is your host, Jeff Thomas. And today is going to be a pretty short video today, guys. Uh, we need to begin weighing out the, the things in our life, okay? We need to uh, weigh out the path of Christianity that we want to take, how real we want it to be in our life, uh, whether we want to delve into the world and just play around with Christianity, do we, uh, do we just want to be a face that is seen in church, uh, do we just want to do whatever we want to do and still have the name tag of being a Christian, or do we actually want to live this thing and then, you know, go all the way not caring about what people think. And I think that we need to sit down uh, and be real with yourself. Um, what are those things that, that you're fearful of as to why we aren't stepping out and actually doing the word versus, you know, just doing the things that are in the popular in the community? You know, it's easy to do the thing. Hey, 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 please sit. Sit. Thank you, sir. It's easy to do all of the things that are labeled as a Christian when you're doing it in a Christian community. But the Lord wasn't just there for Christians. Yes, he, of course, he was teaching Christians and disciples. But guess what? Uh, he's, he's there for those individuals that don't necessarily have that leadership. He's, he's, he's wanting to touch their heart. He wants to reach out to those individuals. But... It's, it just seems like we're so afraid to go into those dark places. You see what I'm saying? So I, I, would, I would recommend literally writing down what it's going to cost you. You know what I mean? Is, is it important enough to, to let go of those things that, that you are fearful of? Um, is it important enough to um, be ostracized? You know, I talk about this stuff a lot on the channel because those are the things that we need to get rid of in order to be able to move in the way that the Lord would have us to move. Okay? Um, it's not popular to pray over people in public. It's not. Guess what? That's the walk of a Christian. It's not popular to minister to people in public. Guess what? That's the life of a Christian. Um, it's, it's not popular to prophesy a new beginning over someone else. But guess what? That's the life of a Christian. Um, it's not prop. It's not. It's not. You know, popular to sit here and pray over healing, and have people gathered around and watching, and you're, you're fearful of, uh, just like they are, but they don't want to be on the hot seat. You're fearful of that person not necessarily being healed, but you take a step anyway. It's not popular, but that's the life of a Christian. Okay, so. These are the these are the things that that I, I really believe that are really holding us back. And the number one thing is fear. And uh, that that fear comes in different avenues. It may just be fear of people or fear of what they may think and this, that and the other. But I read in a book one time, uh, it said that you wouldn't fear what other people thought if you only realize how much they don't. They don't necessarily care too much about everything that you're doing they're so concerned about themselves and how they appear see and so with that you know I would say just don't wait until somebody dies in order for you to take a step toward God you know Jesus has already died you know I was one of those individuals I had a great mentor and he passed away and he had he had been ministering to me for years seven years and uh, during the, you know, right before he was about to pass away, I had really gotten into the word hardcore and then he passed. And that was when I really got serious with God. But regardless, don't wait. Don't wait. Today is the day and tomorrow isn't promised. You know, we would be boastful if, if we were to say, oh, I'll see you tomorrow. Or I'll do that tomorrow. Or I'll next. I'll say that next week. Or I'll do that next week. Um, that's actual. Actually, a bold claim because we don't know if we're gonna be here. And the word talks about that. We should say if God is willing. You know. But anyway. You know, weigh out the checks and balances, man. Are you willing to go into those places where it would actually cost you? Be blessed.